Of all the tools we're seeing in this market analysis module, MECOs are probably the most powerful one. They're extraordinarily useful. Um, let's have a look at one right away. Um, now, some of you have never seen a shape uh, like this. Others will be a bit more familiar with it. But um, let's pretend that you haven't seen, or when you're presenting to an audience, when you do with a MECO. So actually, first, what is a MECO? A MECO is both a way to display information of a market analysis nature and, generically speaking, a great way to show three cuts of the data or three cuts at the data in the same place. Okay? Let me explain this one. So what you have here is the total is the um, British insurance market. The total size of the rectangle is the total size of the market. Okay. And then what we do is we have three cuts of the data throughout. So the first cut is horizontally. Uh, we cut this particular rectangle into five segments. And if we go from left to right, the width of each segment is proportional to the size of the segment. So for example, uh, property insurance is about 40% of the total insurance market. Then motor insurance is another 30%. Then accident and health is another 10, etc., etc. The second cut of the data goes vertically. So in the property insurance market, we can see that there are two segments. Kind of the first one is about 35% uh, of the total, and the other one is about 65. Uh, same thing if we're going to motor, we see the first one is 15%, then another 15, etc., etc. And then likewise in the other columns. And then the third cut of the data is you can use color to select things that go together. So in this particular instance, we'll highlight in orange um, aspects of the insurance market that are about personal insurance. Okay, so um, if you look at your watch, I've spent about 20 seconds introducing the MECO chart, and it's a really important thing, thing to do. When you present a MECO to an audience the very first time, use those 20 seconds um, to really guide their eyes. Okay, it's about guiding their eyes. So uh, too many of us jump into, this is what the MECO shows, without necessarily acknowledging that people in the audience may not be familiar with these beasts, and they need to know what it is first before they can really understand what it shows. Okay, um, small step back, MECO, where the name comes from, it's uh, Mary MECO, a Finnish design company. And then when you do a MECO with lots of colors, it looks like one of their very famous designs. Okay. Um, now, uh, people use MECOs for all sorts of things. And what you can display in that is any data series, as long as the data within the series don't change sign. So either all the numbers are positive. So for example, here, we're looking at sales and we're looking at, um, you know, in pounds or in dollars or in any currency, and all the numbers are positive. Another thing you can put for a MECO is you can put um, SKUs, so you can use that to plot your product portfolio. Uh, you could use headcounts, um, you know, you could uh, count the number of people, and uh, maybe the total rectangle will be the size of your workforce, then you split it within divisions, within grades, and maybe use the colors to identify um, a growth. Um, the, um, so you can use lots of different data series. The only data series you can't put in a MECO are ones where the numbers change sign. So for example, you can't put profit because if you did a MECO for various business units, some of them would have negative profits. You wouldn't be able to show um, that very well. Um, but for example, you could use costs. You can use a MECO to represent the total costs of a company. And in particular, when we look at company analysis, we'll see how a very astute uh, MECO can show you your uh, cost bar in a way that you have never seen before, or your cost structure in a way you've never seen before. Okay? So MECO's in a nutshell, it's a simple way to present three cuts of the data in one place, usually in the context of market analysis. Okay? Let's do, uh, but you can also, as we've seen, bespoke it to um, company analysis, to competitor analysis, to customer analysis, etc., etc. Uh, let's see a couple more examples. Let me turn to my little slide here. So what you have now is a MECO of the TV market in Saudi Arabia. And what you have, if you go along the horizontal axis, is a number of genres. And if you go along the vertical axis, is a number of broadcasters. Okay? Um, you could see here, and then we've, the third dimension is the color, where we've highlighted in orange, in this example, um, NBC, Middle East Broadcasting Corporation, which is sort of the market leader. Then we've put a couple of other named uh, broadcasters, and then a big chunk of others throughout. Now, 
Uh, that is a mecca of the market if you are, for example, a TV sales advertising company. You're helping advertisers reach audience by putting some budget on screen, and this is the market. You kind of see, for example, that NBC is about 40% of the total market. And you would expect, therefore, that a rate for ads on NBC would be higher than uh, on other broadcasters because they can reach a bigger audience. Okay. Um, let's look at another one. Um, here, for example, we're seeing a mecco of um, shoe, branded shoe manufacturers or sports footwear. Uh, sports footwear, we've got sort of Nike, Reebok, Adidas, Fila, Converse. And this, again, this mecco and the split between US and international and licensed. And then if you look at this, it can be either a mecco of competitor analysis, if you happen to work for Reebok, for example, and you look at international strategy, or it's a mecco of market analysis if what you are is a supplier of a very specific uh, transportation service for um, uh, branded shoes. Okay, um, let's finish with one which is really a really, really uh, amusing and impressive one. This is a New York Times graphic and it's a visualization of the uh, budget of the administration in 2011. Okay, this is quite a stunning visual. And what you can see is you see it's a sort of Russian dolls of mechos. So it's a mecho within a mecho within a mecho. So we split, for example, national defense into uh, a number of uh, subdivisions and each one of them and then split again and split again. And the color here is used uh, to indicate how much more, uh, how the budget has changed compared to last year. Okay. So um, lots of really exciting things in MECOs. Now let's continue with exploration of uh, market analysis. Or if we're looking at the uh, tasters, let's have a look at uh, a tool of competitor analysis.